what to do, what to do, what to do. This is your boy, KQKC Boxing Network. And yes, I am always working. But first, before we get started, please hit my like bell. And for those who watching, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We are only 25 subscribers away for banking another thousand subscribers. Now, I usually don't ask, beg, whatever you want to call it, for subscribers. If you like the content, then you'll subscribe. But I happened to look over and I saw that, wow, I'm closer than I thought. Well, could you do me? Or if you like the content, don't do me no favors. No, no. Let me take that back. But if you like what I'm giving you, feel free to subscribe. Because I will give you play by play. Blow by blow. It doesn't matter if it's free or pay per view. I will call that fight. I'm not talking about like they do on TV. Look in my previous fight calls. And that will answer all your questions. And also, I am consistent. I come on every day except Tuesday. That's my last and my only day off. To rejuvenate my, my, my batteries. So therefore, I just want you to show me love. That's all. Show love for the grind. Especially with a 57-year-old man. They can get down like I've been getting down. Yes, I'm not a big channel. Because I have other things going on. I take care of both of my parents. Every day. Every day. I do my last ring. Bam, I got to get out of here. So, therefore, the channel could be bigger than what it is. I'm not like the other guys. I don't spend every minute or waking moment on YouTube or throwing out videos or watching Instagram, watching uh, X. No, I don't have time for that. I'm retired, but I love boxing. And that's why I'm about to give you this video. And I told you so, as you see in the thumbnail. I told you so how it was going to be. Let's get started. Javante Davis. Javante Davis. Trainer. Slash coach. Uh, slash Akeni Allen. He believes that Javante Davis is the only lightweight in history that no one wants to fight. Now, of course, I felt that hard to believe. So, I did a little digging and a little, you know, looking around, just skimming through. And he's right. He's right. But it's a reason for that. It's a reason for it because of a young man from not this country, from another country, who I've been on his helmet since day one. he been throwing out money left and right to who? B-level fighters. C-level fighters. And I don't blame them. Because if you're going to pay me the same amount of money I will make fighting the face of boxing then why take a high risk why get a high reward from fighting a everything boxing words a booty pool now here it comes I told you all this will happen oh turkey working with all the promoters I said, yeah, but they all going to have their own best interests involved. Eddie Hearn stated 
and I quote an ungoddamn quote that he can't make the fights he want to make, the good fights, the fights that's necessary, the fights that Turkey putting on. He lucked up on those fights, and they did poorly. Look at Magaval. No one heard of him. And Terrence Crawford. Oh, wow. It didn't do good. You got the bells. You got the whistles. But it didn't do good. We talked about this shit. We talked about it. But no. Oh, but no. Turkey that don't know nothing about the sport of boxing or this country. All he know about is soccer. Other words, football where they from, which he trying to buy. But that all, but that all about to get real then. And these B-level fighters that's getting paid what A-level fighters she getting paid. That's why they don't want to fight. And it's frustrating Eddie Hearn. And he said, no one wants to fight the face of boxing. He said, that's strange. No one wants to fight the best anymore. Now they fight for what? A payday. A payday that soon or later will be non-sustainable. Just right there in that thumbnail on me where it said non-sustainable. We talked about this shit. We talked about how uh, 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 the PIF fund, the PIF fund, making him reel in that damn money. Now, look, he got caught up in the UFC. The UFC now, which had the highest price tickets ever, ever, and since their existence. Then you know why? Because Turkey have to do that. They losing profits. Yeah, what all look good ain't good. They losing out. Especially to Canelo Everest and Independence Mexican Independence Day, who they thought they was gonna outbeat. And they still think that. See, not they, I'm sorry. Turkey. He don't know the demographics. He don't know exactly who Canelo and Javante really, really is. So now, he's trying to make it a competition. Big role take little role. We know he got a big role, but see that big role is preventing big fights. Now someone told me that Turkey putting on good fights. Yeah, but for how long? Because boss is going to be right back where it been. And guess who's going to be standing there? Al Heyman. He's going to be standing there and watch KQ. Waving his hand like, I told y'all so. I told y'all so. Y'all will not believe it. But I told you all. You cannot chase good money after bad. Money is not everything. Matter of fact, they say money is the root of all evil. Young brothers, you better wake up. Jerron Ennis, you better wake up before it's too late. Or before they be finding you fighting over in Wimbledon Stadium. Same way with Shakur. You better be careful because Riyadh season is going to be your best friend. Now, and her, excuse me, I want to make sure I'm giving to you all straight, unlike most content creators. See, one thing about KQ, I'm going to call balls and strikes over here. This is a, a channel that you need to get in tune with. This is a channel going to tell you like it is, but I respect your opinion. No one gonna get blocked. No one gonna get timed out. Speak your damn mind. Man, this is a new day. 
this is a new day. This is a new KQ. I'm calling off names. I'm calling off right and wrong. I'm calling off, y'all know my motto, balls and goddamn strikes. Now, getting back to Eddie Snake Hearns. That's right. Because he always do his fight toss a disservice. Well, he quoted, and I say unquoted, he admitted that they are not, things are not going well. Especially with the money of Turkey Alish. These ain't my words, y'all. These are Eddie Hearn words. The one that been in boxing forever in the UK. Eddie don't know how long it will last. What I tell y'all, non-sustainable. Oh, baby. Y'all gonna wish you coulda, woulda. Y'all little circle talking about turkey is saving boxing. Watch how y'all feel come. Maybe. Mm, I get him to January. Now, and this is coming from Eddie Hearn. When a crook like Eddie Hearn, when he says that they are not gonna make the best fights, all they're going to do is make fights. They might look up for maybe one or two. And they can say, oh, well, those are good fights. Oh, hell no. No. And that's one thing I respect Las Vegas. They called PBC. The only one did not jump in the bed with Turkey Unleashed. The only one that money don't move him. Production moves him. Great output moves him. And slowly but surely, he is ruling, uh, 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 I'm sorry, he is rolling out good fights. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We get Tim Zhu. It's a free fight. He's a top-notch fighter. Yes, he could have fought on pay-per-view. But right now, Al Heyman, he has the bag up of who? The whole strip. All the hotels in Vegas. He is wanted. They are going so far in saying that we will pay the purses of the fighters. Not all now. Don't get me wrong. Not all. But when you have that type of respect, when you're the only one that they can pick up the phone and call, because they know L. Heyman is loyal, you might not see him. So what? Good. Less to talk about and more to focus on boxing. So therefore... I'm waving my hand and tell you this is not sustainable. This is not going to work. Because people are getting trash fights from here on. Now you can call what you want. You can call Shakur Stevenson just to stay busy fight. You can get, I don't care what you call it. But why put his ass on pay per view? And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Because we all know, if you're getting a tune-up, if you're getting a stay-busy fight, then why the hell are you charging $15 or $20 for it? That's a five, that's a dollar worth. Now, I give them a dollar. I give them a dollar to holler. But that's all it's worth. And that's being generous. I'm sorry, you. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, 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 Shakira fans, but he's just not a pay-per-view star. And the rate he's going, 
and the people he signed up with will never ever get him to that plateau hell it, uh, uh, Turkey don't even know what he's doing as I said earlier he don't even know what Decatur Georgia is he don't know the demographics of the Madison Square baby or the Barclay a uh, baby or, or or the strip a uh, baby huh no he don't no he don't he's just going by the weirdo Oscar De La Hoya the one that always got to show his pee pee with the robot lady and her tatas both of them coked up yeah I said it I said it they ain't no surprise there ain't nobody surprised on here Turkey Unleashed is ruining boxing. We're not going to get the chance to see the best fight the best. But I guarantee you this, that Bibble fight and Better Veer fight, they might as well retire. Because they paid an arm and a leg so they can fight. So they can get that done. They dealt with Turkey before over in Riyadh. Or over in Saudi Arabia. Over in Dubai. But don't worry. Happy Day is going to be back again, y'all. Now, let me keep going. Now, Andy don't know how long it will last. At the same time. All it is, and this is Eddie's words, not mine. All it is is exposure for Turkey and the Ria brand. So all they doing is using their asses to boost their brand up. That's all. No more. No goddamn less. I know this video is long. I got a lot to say. And come morning, on Monday morning, I'll have more, more to say. Oh, baby. We're going to be on Knockout Boxing 86 TV tomorrow. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Or I will say today. That's right. Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Central Time. Oh. They say, what can you What can you do? I said nothing but sit back and watch y'all asses squirm. Sit back and watch how a man like Javante Davis can't even find a fighter. Because they'd rather turn him down because they believe that they're going to get the same amount that Javante Davis is offering or more. A B-level fighter or whoever fighter, A fighter or whatever. Turkey is there to save the day. But see, this is the problem. This is the problem your excellency got from his boss. We are losing. We losing the fight of boxing in the United States. He knows it. His boss knows it. All the American people, well, some of y'all know it. Like I said earlier, I don't need a trip to Dubai. They got infrastructure going on there. That's why they're reeling back that money. And I can't afford it. Yeah, you give me a free ticket to go there. But are you going to play for the t- uh, 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 the hotel? Are you going to pay for my food? Are you going to pay for the other uh, things that we need? Hell no, you're not. So... Why the hell pass out tickets for people that can't afford it? They are trying to make, and for those that haven't heard, they are trying to make Saudi Arabia slash Dubai a playground for the rich and famous. But old KQ did a little more digging. You see, anytime somebody come in my sport, they have artillery motives. Eddie Hearn did it. 
He tried to overpay all these fighters, but could not sustain it. They try to be like Al Heyman. All oh, pay per view is dead, this and that. But Al Heyman is still alive and kicking. He supposed to been out of business in 2015. He's still on top, in my opinion. We all have one. So therefore, Turkey Alish, he believes that he's going to go head to head with none other than, uh, oh yeah, Canelo Everest. The number one Uno do Nuno face in boxing. Mexican Independence Day. You will not outsell him. No matter how you sit there and say you will. I don't care how many cars you give away. I don't care how many 50 plus uh, uh, entertainers you have on there. And what makes it so bad, my people? My loved ones. On phone no baby. I'm telling you right now. The tickets were $3,000. Just to walk through door. Damn doors. But that's alright. He realized. He realized that. He maybe can't come from behind. So he lowered the pre- ticket prices. See this is what Canelo does. This is what PVC does. But guess what? Or do. I'm sorry. Or do. But this don't help the problem. The tickets were lowered from 3000 to what? $800. All. All. All just to walk in the building. Just get through the doors. Ain't this some a bitch. Come on, people. Open our eyes. Open your eyes. And see what it is. I get so tired of hearing all these lames. When Turkey put on some good old fight, Turkey ain't put on shit. He financed it. Bob Aaron. Uh, 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 slash Todd DeBo, Oscar De La Hoya slash none other than B Hop Garage Mouth. All right. Also, also, a couple other small, small uh, promoters. Oh, 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 oh. When that day comes, he's gonna run, take his money or his ball and go home well you don't know that kq oh yes i do why i do my research he has done it before people he has done it before don't get hooked don't get bamboozled just like it did on 9 11. well kq that ain't fair that ain't fair. Uh oh, Dubai, Turkey, they didn't have nothing to do with that. Oh, yes, they did. They was hiring one of the fugitives over over there in Dubai. And then they paid millions of dollars to keep ISIS, the Taliban, away. Don't forget, I worked. I worked in the political realm. I worked for Barack Obama. Yes, I did my 31 on my job and and goddamn out. And then I got into the political movement because I met Barack Hussein Obama, the same Harvard lawyer that was roommates with who? The Harvard lawyer Al Heyman, two smart black men. And don't think this don't have anything, anything to do with Al being a black man. Because he's showing up and he's showing out. Now, I don't have no favorite promotional companies. I really don't. 
But I don't like what no other than a turkey on leash is doing. Now, he found him a passy. And that passy is no other than Eddie Hearn. Now, Eddie Hearn been throwing everybody on the book from Devin Haney, not once but twice, Ryan Garcia, and now Turkey Alish, which need, need to be uh, thrown under the bus. So, therefore, Secure made in the biggest mistake possible, thanks to who? Jay Prince. So now, your stock is going down a little bit. Because you find someone that was paid and bought for. Boston's a dirty business, people. And we're going to continue talking about this. Because I got a lot to say. All right? I have a lot to say. So, therefore, we ain't going to see the best fighting the best. We're not going to see that. Because the best, let's say, is Javante Davis. He won't fight the second best in the division. But I'm sorry. He makes more money over there than he would over there. So. But one thing about it. Al Hammy ain't going to pay you $4 million. And you're a B-level fighter with six fights under your belt. Get the. I'm KQ. Let me take a sip. Hold on. It's Saturday night. Didn't get paid. I'm retired. So I have to wait another night. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Work hard. I worked hard. Went to the penitentiary. Came back, had the same job, didn't lose no seniority or nothing. I started in high school, so I'm not of age to get a full pension, but I'm of age to get 75% of that 100%. So, I never heard no one say this before, but I'm going to say it. I can't wait to get 65 <laughs> But I have KQ, KC Boston Network. I know this is a long video. And Monday, I would take it slow. And I would go into everything I just would lay it off. Me and Knockout Boston will be live at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to talk about a lot that's going on. We'll talk about the Zapata team. Which they got a call from security team and said, hey, thanks, but no thanks. And that was in the first fight that he turned down and came up with an excuse. All right. Now, of course, now he's fighting a worse opponent. But y'all call it a stay busy opponent. I call it a bunch of bullshit. That's what I call it. I don't care how you look at it. This is my opinion. You have yours. That's what is so important to subscribe to KQ. Because one thing about it. I would take your point in consideration. No one's going to get blocked. No one's going to get timed out. Unless you're talking privately. Or, 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 or you talking about a young lady under the skirt and mama jokes off limits and I stick to it too now with that that's all KQ got I am KQ KC Boston Network hit that subscribe button hit that like button let's check up this algorithm baby Come on, let's pick it up. Let's pick it up. Remember, I came on last night. 7.30 p.m. That's not my regular time. But I did it for my chat. 
my chat. Remember, I work for you. Unlike boxing. Unlike boxing. The promoter works for the boxer, supposedly, but the boxer works for the promoter. That's where it seems. So come show your love. Show your love. Sit in on one of my live sessions. Take your time. Make up your mind. And maybe you heard me before. I don't know. But we got to do what we got to do. I'm KQ. KC Boston Network. And with that, I will see you in the AM. 9 o'clock AM. Central Standard Time. The morning after show, baby. Everybody have a good one. And I hope that was informative. I am out.